Here we have a carpurbula in the making. So it's about a four foot by four foot piece of skinny plywood. And I'm going to frame it up. Uh, it's uh, inch by four um, wood. And so here there's two more pieces of wood in. I'm just going to put in a couple of screws at the sides to uh, keep them in place. Uh, it's four feet by, um, I don't know, 44 inches, something like that. There's a big curve, there's about 12 inches of a, a dive in the middle where it goes on the curve, and hopefully the curve is something approaching a parabola. So there we go. And now I'm going to add a um, uh, uh, fabric to it to contain the clay. So here's a piece of tarp. Goes down on top of the piece. Not fancy. sunless day uh, we've had so many of them lately anyway this is my parabola maker it is I'll go through the different parts this is a piece of an old desk it's square so that uh, everything remains square I guess this is some pipes that I found at a work site that were kind of abandoned um, a joiner thing again to keep a right angle so there's a right angle here so this is an old um, um, stool I guess, um, swir um, twirling stool, uh, office chair, and um, this comes around like this, so it's going to scribe the um, parabola, and um, this moves in, and as you can see, it as it moves in, it drops down. This here is the focus and uh, this line must be about at right angles. It's not exactly in my case at right angles, but it's so close that it makes no difference to the focus. And this arrangement is purely something I was trying another time, but um, I just stuck it in there, and it'll probably work fine for scribing the parabola. I'm debating whether to put netting there, because um, I think I'll put netting there. So I've been adjusting the position, so that this will go round in a circle and just be above the, um, you know, places. See as you come down. So this is going to be the height here. It's a little high, but as you come down, it lowers down. See, I have to stabilize everything a little. Stand things not moving. As you push it in, this drops more. And it's just almost touching there. Here is quite a bit of room, but the clay is going to take care of all that. Or the cob. So as you come closer to the centre, it gets lower. And the shape that this follows as it comes to the centre is a parabola. It's a right angle here. This is the focal point. Well, if you can imagine this in a little, it's the focal point. And um, it'll be pretty close to a good parabola and uh, the surface area of this is going to be about four times the surface area of one of those little um, one of these little um, solar cookers so that's the plan a uh, larger surface area four times the surface area and it um, focuses on the fixed point in this case the point is going to be up here and uh, we'll see how it goes anyway. So here we have um, um, garden mesh, plastic mesh, uh, stapled to the uh, um, bottom. Here is uh, five 
scoops of clay mixed in with uh, about a litre and a half or two litres of water. Uh, here is seven uh, shovels of sand, coarse sand, you can hear the grinding of the, the little lumps in the sand. And I'm going to mix them together in the wheelbarrow with the shovel. Here we are before I start mixing, so the clay is on top of the sand. And as you can see the clay is uh, like, I guess, clay slip for pottery. And uh, I'm going to scroll through it and that's how I mix. Here we have the clay sand mix after about three minutes. You can hear the sand particles when you move the shovel through it and it's fairly well mixed. And now I'm going to add straw. Here's all the straw that's left. And here is the straw in the wheelbarrow, so it's on top of the, the mix. Uh, this is the fork that I used to finish off the mixing of the straw into the clay sand mixture. So here we go, we have our mix. And it looks like dung I guess, but it is cob. It's a little bit wetter than the normal cob mix. And uh, see it is cob, like lots of cob people probably are horrified by this, but it's uh, Slightly wet mix, but I have to have a wetter mix for this. I did add a little bit of water uh, while I was adding in the clay. So there we go. Uh, next stage, I'm going to put a few blobs around the feet to hold the feet in position, and then I shall continue on and um, build up. Um, my parabola from the outside to the inside. So here we have um, the little tracker. You go round in a circle and it's just touching. Just a little bit more than touching here. And you go in a little and this drops down. It's a little, a little bit of in it so it doesn't drop down so good. But there we go. So I've got to take a little off here. And I do that with the trowel. Just push it down, push it around a bit. It seems to work quite well. This trowel has a round edge, so it can basically do uh, quite a lot of curves. You know, you hold it like this, you've got a different curve then. And so all I'm doing is I'm moving material around. See here I have to add more, but um, I'm just hydrating more clay at the moment. So, and over here, had to add a little more too, so it'll be another one to two wheelbarrows before uh, before it's done. It greatly helps the clay hydration process if before you um, throw the, the clay in the water, you sieve it. So here's uh, sieve through about I guess eight millimeter uh, wire mesh because and you can break up the lumps here. Yeah. It's hard to do this with one hand, but you break up the lumps and put them through the safe and it uh, just hydrates quicker. So it's uh, 7.13, this batch is a little bit sloppier, but possibly because the clay is still, actually it's thickening up I think, possibly the clay is, clay is still hydrating. Anyway, I'm going to add in the straw and uh, Finish up the uh, So here we are now. We're low, on low battery, but it seems like it might just work. It's like a pretty good parabola. And uh, I'm just gonna move this in. As it moves in, falls down. And see? Pretty perfect. Going further. There's a little, little clay stuff on the line so it doesn't fall down as quickly as it should, but there you go. I have to turn this off now, but uh, it's pretty good. 